Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing NFL predictions. Now, it's like three, four weeks, I'm pretty sure, before the NFL season kicks off. Boy, I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. And um, I thought I'd do some predictions before we got too close to that starting line, just so I don't forget. So, um, yeah, Hall of Fame game was last night. Cowboys, my Cowboys, wah wah, just could not score or play defense in the second half. Obviously, preseason game doesn't really matter. Um, they lost that one 16 to three, and then some preseason games upcoming in these next few weeks um, before the regular season starts. Also, sorry about the weird camera angle. My camera's dead, so can't use that up on the tripod up higher, farther away. So I just have to use my phone. I tried to set it up something, but it won't work. So anyway, you're gonna have to deal with it for one video while I get my camera charged. All right, anyway, let's get into the predictions. First, let's start it off on the NFC side in the West. Um, overall, I feel like this season, won't be too different. There weren't any blockbuster trades, I feel like, over the offseason. Anything like that. Um, I feel like Seahawks will take that West. I think they do. Um, I, I, I just think... I just think they have a little more than the newly acquired Matthew Stafford in the Rams. Um, so... And then, I guess I just gave a spoiler, I think the Rams will come in second place. Um, the Arizona Cardinals, 8-8 um, eight and eight last year. I still think, ooh, this is hard for me, I still think the Cardinals stay there at third place in the, in the West. Just going with that, because the 49ers with Jimmy G, it's just really going down the drain. They've, I guess they, um have why can't I think of his name Trey Lance um of NDSU North Dakota State uh but I still just don't think he'll be that guy that just clicks in the first year that's why I think Cardinals still go um third and then 49ers fourth in the division NFC South Buccaneers I think will come in first here over the Saints who won it last year Saints, of course, without the Drew Brees this year after his retirement. And the Buccaneers just got more players this offseason. Very easy for them to go back and win it. I expect them to do that. Um, but I think it is Buccaneers first in the South. And then Saints second in the South. Taysom Hill. Um, and uh, why can I not think of his name? Jameson Winston. Why can I not? Anyway, why could I not think of his name? But, um, Jameis Winston and, um, Tri now I can't think of his name, Taysom Hill. I am brain farted early this morning. Um, Taysom Hill, I think, I really want him to start. I like Taysom Hill, but I also think that Jameis Winston has enough talent. Anyway, I still think that they can get above the Panthers and the Falcons in second place of the South. However, I think the Panthers stay at third. That's where they ended up last year. I think Falcons fall to fourth. Falcons, of course, um, getting tight end out of Florida. I also cannot think of his name. That draft seems like such a long time ago. It wasn't super long. Just, football's just not my number one sport, but it's like number three for me. Um, anyway, Panthers, Falcons. NFC East, I see the Washington football team still winning it here after they got Ryan Fitzpatrick in the offseason. I think they win the NFC East. Now, this is such a bad division. It's so hard to choose. I think, I think in this situation, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys in second, Giants third. Because, you know, they're going to be two very evenly matched teams. Could go either way. 
Guys, predictions, not the end of the world. I just got to go Cowboys here. I just feel like if their defense and offense can both mash together, they could have a pretty good team behind the Washington football team. Sorry if I sound weird and look tired. It's like 7.15 in the morning. I just woke up and had this on my mind, so I did it. Um, and then Eagles coming in last in the division. NFC North, the Green Bay Packers, I think, comes in. Oh. Without Aaron Rodgers, I still like they have the talent to come in first, even though they don't know who's going to be their quarterback. If Rodgers is going to play, if he's not, who will be their quarterback? But I just don't see the Chicago Bears catching up to him, or the Vikings, or the Lions. Um, so, I got um, Green Bay in first. And then the North. See, Bears coming in second. And then, hear me out here. I think the Detroit Lions, with the signing of Jared Goff, could possibly be a tad bit better and without Mike Patricia feel like they could be a tad bit better so I think they propel above the Vikings who really just doesn't have all that talent at the moment and I think they go up to third place in the division Vikings down to fourth now let's go to the American football conference here Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts was a great race to see at the end of the season last year really hoping for the Colts here I, um, Michael Pittman Jr., he's a great YouTube channel. Go check it out. Um, but, yeah. So, I think the Titans come in first again. Colts hard second. I still think that'll be a very close and exciting race. Um, Trevor, Trevor Lawrence on that Jaguars team. And Deshaun Watson having all those conflicts with the Texans. I think the I think the Jaguars are going in third place, and I think the Texans are going in fourth. I'm not saying that Trevor Lawrence is going to have an amazing year. I just say he's going to have more than – I'd say they're going to win five, six games. Um, a few more games than the Texans, just forget about them. They're, they're having all kinds of trouble. AFC East, um, Dolphins, a surprise team to watch out for here in the East – but I still think the Bills can beat them in that race and um, get first place. Um, Dolph Dolphins, second place. Um, easily for me there. Um, above the Patriots, Jets. Patriots, Jets. You've got Zach Wilson on the Jets, a new head coach. And you've got the Patriots with doggone nobody. Except for Bill Belichick. Moment of silence for thinking here. I'm going with another upset here. The New York Jets are going to be in third place of the AFC East. I'm still saying they're only going to win five, six, seven games. But the Patriots are going down the drain, and they're going to end up in fourth place. Ooh, doggy, I can't believe I did that, but I did. Bills, Dolphins, Jets, Patriots in the AFC East. AFC North, see Steelers, um... And Ravens were, and Browns were also a great close race that season, last season. I think the Browns win the, win the um, division here in this year. I think they were a great team last year. I hope they can have another playoff run this year. But the Browns just have it more than the Steelers, in my opinion. Big Ben, too old. He's not going to have a great year. I think the Browns come go to first, one game ahead of everybody else, and I think the Ravens and Steelers either tie or the Steelers come one game above the Ravens, and then the Bengals come in last. Even with Joe Burrow coming back, I still think he goes. the Bengals go in last. AFC West, our final division of the day, Kansas City Chiefs, I... I still think that they will dominate that division and fall in first. Las Vegas Raiders. I said that right. Wow, Las Vegas Raiders. Doesn't sound awful too, awful too bad. Um, 
and the Chargers. Close race last year again. Um, Vegas got one game ahead of the Chargers. I really don't know. I'm going to go with the Las Vegas Raiders here above the Chargers. I just think the Raiders have that much more talent to propel, to propel them over um, the Chargers. Uh, but again, Los Angeles comes in third. And then the Denver Broncos, I believe, will fall in last. Even Drew Locke might have an amazing season, but I still don't think that they will be able to go to the top. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.